What's going on, YouTube? We're talking college sports once again, where college football is king in the Deep South, and the battle cry on the plains of Auburn is War Eagle. It's Vernon Speaks Sports Auburn. I am your host, Kennard Vernon Stewart. With the podcast this evening, we're going to be talking about wide receivers for the Auburn Tigers in our series as we've been talking about impact players for the Auburn Tigers. Let's go ahead and comment to this video. Go ahead and like and subscribe to Vernon Speak Sports Auburn, where we talk about Auburn like it's nobody's business. War Eagle. One of the guys that we feel is going to have some serious impact on this Auburn Tiger football team as it relates to wide receivers is Seth Williams. Now, if we look back at the 2018 season, Auburn found themselves in a very strange fix. Auburn lost Eli Stove and Will Hastings also had Nate Craig Myers to transfer. So what was left was Darius Slayton, Ryan Davis, and then you had, had to depend on a lot of freshman help from Andrew, Anthony Schwartz, Seth Williams, and Matthew Hill wasn't on the scene last year. But very, very inexperienced at the wide receiver did tell on Auburn at certain points of the season. Now, one of the, the, the bright stars of this thing was Seth Williams and Anthony Schwartz. We're going to talk a little bit about Seth Williams today, who I feel is one of the most versatile receivers that will be returning for the Auburn Tigers. Now, if you look at the Auburn Tigers receiving core, it's not that difficult, but then they have this strange terminology that they like to use at the wide receiver position. The positions that Seth Williams wound up lining up in and we'll probably line up in this season is the split in X9 position. This is usually a guy who is kind of tall, uh, very, very well versed in the man to man one on one situations. If you think about the touchdown that Seth Williams caught in the Texas A&M game to actually win that football game, Seth Williams was lined up in the split in X9 position and that created a one on one situation and a, and a uh, corner route for Seth Williams that bode very well for the Auburn Tigers for a touchdown. Then you think about other situations where Seth Williams lined up in what Auburn likes to call the slot three. If you think about the catches that Seth Williams made over the middle uh, for the long gains, that was the, the position that he was in at that time and made some serious impact. So that's why I say that Seth Williams is going to be one of the more versatile wide receivers because you can line him up in those two very pivotal positions also too with the slot three position it's a real interesting spot because that's also a place where the wide receiver can participate in a lot of run blocking as well and also when you get the run pass option going that's a vital position to create say mismatches across the middle with the linebacker who you know you can you're, tall, you, you're just as tall as, as a linebacker, but you create a lot of mismatches across the middle. So that's why I think Seth Williams will be probably one of the more versatile, probably one of the more um, breakout players at receiver for the Auburn Tigers because he can do so many things for you. Now, Auburn did go out on the transfer portal route and pick up Zach Farrar, who can also play this role as well because he is tall and he actually has a lot of you know, really, really diverse things that he can do in the intermediate part of the football field. And he will be coached to do some run blocking for the Auburn Tigers as well. If we look at Seth Williams coming out of high school, out of Cottondale, Alabama, ironically from Paul W. Bryant High School, he was actually recruited. As a matter of fact, he received his first offer from the University of Alabama eventually committed to Auburn, came in as a true freshman. The, big, the biggest thing that we noticed for Seth Williams on last year is that he didn't have the benefit of early enrollment. We didn't see Seth Williams until the fall, and he was literally forced into action. Now, when we talk even more about Seth Williams, one of the things that I would like to see out of Seth Williams is when he is lined up in the slot formation. I would see a, I like to see a lot more balance when he actually catches the football in the slot, because a lot of times when he did catch the football in the slot, he could have had a little bit more, a few more yards after carry 
if he didn't stumble so much in that particular part of the football field. Now, that is largely due to, I mean, he was literally rusty. You're talking about a guy who was riding a, school, a yellow school bus to football games, and now he's on the big stage in Mercedes-Benz Stadium lined up to play receiver against Washington because of the absence of Will Hastings and Eli Stobe. Now, the good news is coming into the 2019 season, you actually have Eli Stove and Will Hastings back. Because if you look at 2018, Jarrett Stidham didn't have the typical options that he had in 2017. Because if you think about the double routes that Will Hastings used to make to wind up wide open, you didn't have that because that wasn't Darius Slayton's strength. And also, you look at Andrew, Anthony Schwartz. Anthony Schwartz just wasn't experienced. Yes, he made some great plays, but he didn't have the experience that Will Hastings and say Eli Stove had. He, now, one thing that Anthony Schwartz did do is he was very good in the jet sweep, was a very effective uh, threat in the jet sweep. And also, he was a, very, was a very, very underrated route runner, I think, for the Auburn Tigers on last year. Now, to have all of these guys back, including Matthew Hill, that gives a lot of versatility in the wide receiver position that you just didn't have in 2018. So that's why I feel that, you know, you talk about the combination of Seth Williams, Sal Canella, Zach Farrar, Matthew Hill, Eli Stove, Will Hastings, that could create a lot of anxiety for even a elite defensive secondary for Oregon. I think Oregon is going to come into this season as one of the more talented secondaries that Auburn will play full of four and, you know, four star recruits. Uh, very, very elite athletes in their secondary, but they're going to be really tested by the versatility of Auburn's wide receiver core, which shows Seth Williams as a very, very versatile option. He can line up pretty much anywhere, either in the slot position or that X9 position, you know, because he was very, very good in the corner routes and one on one type situations. Now, we look at Seth Williams on last season, 26 receptions, 534 yards, five touchdowns. I think the most memorable touchdown for Seth Williams was his reception against Texas A&M, and it really showed his elite ability as a wide, big-time wide receiver in the SEC. I want to go out on a limb and say as far as Athlon Sports goes, he was on the fourth team All-SEC coming into the 2019 season, so even media outlets – think that Seth Williams will uh, play a very, very vital and very productive role for the Auburn Tigers, if not actually having an all-SEC season uh, for the Auburn Tigers. I think he was an all-SEC freshman. He had a great campaign, guys, uh, 534 yards, like I said before, right out of high school, a true freshman, was very productive for the Auburn Tigers this season. So look out for the versatility of the Auburn Tigers wide receivers led by guys like Seth Williams. And, um, you know, we got we to gotta figure out where Sal Canella fits into this thing. Um, we're looking at him also as the slot uh, receiver as well. Uh, he's not quite – he actually did catch a, a ball in the corner route against Washington, but we really like Sal Canella also in that slot receiver position as well. Uh, uh, Sal Canella is very, very talented as well. But like I said before, Seth Williams gives the in what from what I can see out of all the receivers that Auburn has coming back, probably one of the more versatile receivers in that core. Like I said before, during the you know coaching will allow him to have a little bit. I just want to see that yard after catch improve a little bit more because, like, say for instance, that was a long catch that he had against Miss Ole Miss, and if he wouldn't have stumbled upon catching the football. He walks in instead of getting walked down in the end. And I think that's some that's a technique that you work on during the offseason and, you know, really, really improve those skills coming into, you know, the Avercare Classic and on and beyond. Once again, it's case due to go for Vernon Speak Sports. Seth Williams is going to be a guy that you want to look at coming into the 2019 season. He has been listed as the Vernon, one of the Vernon Speak Sports Auburn impact players. Once again, it's Kennard Vernon Stewart for Vernon Speak Sports. Go ahead and like this video, subscribe to the channel. And as always, on this channel, it's great to be an Auburn Tiger War Eagle.